Hello. Welcome back. Hello, everybody. It's me and Rabia. It's it Rabia is. and I. It's been a say. while. You were sweaty then. I swear, I always sweat when we play together. Why is that? I don't know. It's because the intensity. I'm the, so I'm on the edge of my seat trying to it's play <laughs> stuff that, that <laughs> means know, something. It's like, what's going on? <laughs> yeah. I'm the same. I'm the same. Oh. I don't have time to sweat because um, I'm excited about these amps. Yeah, me too. I mean, by the looks of it, I say this is the best looking Blackstar amp I've ever seen. I have am to I, agree. I, yeah? I, I agree. I think, like you mentioned earlier, the illuminated new Blackstar logo thing. Even in the cabinet! Makes a, adds a sense Sorry. of class and expensive. Sophistication! Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, it, makes it, it looks pricey, right? Yeah, it looks pricey. So these are mm. the new St. James uh, amps from Blackstar. Uh, it comes in heads and cabs, mm -hmm. two twelves. Comes in a 1x12 uh, combo, which we're going to have a look in later. Mm -hmm. S tons and tons of new features, uh, and they claim to be the lightest 50 watt tube amp in the world. I mean, I can't get that off. Can yeah, I? so yeah. It's, it's all tube. Yeah. But they're claiming that it's super lightweight, both the head and the cab, like you barely feel it like to lift up. It's supposed to be about as heavy as what your, your cat is. Yeah, what so they what is there to say? This is, this is the weight of your average house cat. And it's this really is the, not that heavy. Uh, uh, this is the, uh, the weight of your average dash hound, sausage okay. dog. Um, and that's funny actually, because when we get to the cap rig uh, simulation later on, which they, this also I've got built in, there's a little cat there. And is I don't there? know why, I've never figured that out, but there's a little cat in, the, in that, um, we'll, we'll show you. A little Easter egg there. there. Yeah, a little Easter egg. Um, but so, yeah. I don't should... know what to say about it. I feel like it's there, like you said, they've sat around and seen all this other technology coming out from all these other brands and stuff. And like, let's be fair, Blackstar have been around for a long time. They've also been making a lot of your really affordable digital, like for beginners and like travel rigs, right? They've been doing that for a long time, focusing on the... That, that side yeah, of the market. Yeah, they've, they've, I think they've got, you know, they've got, they got feet in both camps, haven't they? Yeah. Of the, of the mighty tube amps or, or yeah. valve amps, and then also all the stuff that they've made in the past with all of their, Fly you know, insider. And core and insider. Yeah, exactly. and all that stuff and stuff, and now they've accommodated that into, into these, you know. The St. James. Into the St. James. And I've, I mean, they've, as I said, the look, this looks great, and I love that. It's these cool. are illuminated. There's a little nine volt input on the back of these, so you have to have a little oh, nine really? volt power supply. Yeah, okay. which you know, so you don't. It's just so it's there. But they could have just put it on and not put that little LED in it. But they actually gone to the. Do they have a nine the, volt power out on the back of the head? No, there's not. Mr. So, trick there. Mr. Trick there. But of course, that'll that'll have to. Yeah. Know, there's more space because there's a lot of stuff built into this. So, two different amps here. So we got one um, which is a sort of a Fendery type clean. So mm -hmm. they've got two. Channels each, right? Uh, this is—they both got a Fendery kind of blackface type channel one. Mm -hmm. Then this one, probably look of it, is more of like a Vox uh, yeah. on channel two, and that one has got a higher gain on channel two. They kind of reminded me of Morgan as well. Yeah, that vibe. Yeah, particularly Morgan, this matchless. The, yeah. yeah, this. I mean, I think they missed a trick where they didn't put the white piping yeah, in that one. That would have been good, wouldn't it? I think that would have been good, but that was really Morgan AC twenty or whatever. But I guess you could say that maybe that's the. This is just a complete assumption, but maybe they're <laughs> they're going for the market that can't quite afford the Morgans and the really expensive boutique amps and stuff and go, well, you can have something that looks and sounds great with loads of extra features. That was my assumption. Yeah. So I think the price starts for the heads around 1,000, 1,100 quid. Cabinets are about 500 quid. And the uh, 112 uh, combos are around 1,000 pounds. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the light links below for that because okay. it could change. These are the first time we see them today. So they might, you know, that price might fluctuate a little bit. Yeah. Depending on where you are and what time it is and what day it is and mm -hmm. how the weather is and where the wind is blowing. Um, but there's a lot of features in that we, we need to hear, basically. But let's just, features wise, Super white lightweight, so mm -hmm. which means newly designed lightweight uh, transformers and everything inside is, is is designed to be really lightweight. Yeah. Um, the speakers are Sefer, 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 Set E H P H E R, Sefer. 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 Never heard. That's of their own kind of uh, proprietary right speaker. I, see. Uh, I think it's a Celestian thing, so mm -hmm. it's really lightweight. I mean, I carried this and that up the stairs. Well, it's just like, like the this. fact my arm's straight. That's the hardest way to hold something heavy is if your arm's out straight, but yeah. that just proves like it's not, yeah. it's not heavy. Um, like, well, it claims to be the lightest uh, 50 watt tube amp in the world, so. They've got, I mean, mine's got two 6L6 and two ECC83 yes. preamp tubes in there. Yeah. 
Which is kind of unusual in a way, like for the amount of gain this has, that you'd expect more preamp tubes. So there's probably some tech going on inside that's allowing them to get that much gain out of the amp, which we'll hear in a bit. But yeah, and this one has the got same, the right? EL, um, so the EL 34s in ah, there. I see. Um, so that's why you've got more of that sort of um, British American, British kind, of American kind of vibe. Yeah. But it's funny because on my DP, I prefer the 34s as well mm -hmm. because it's got a different kind of it approaches gain slightly different yeah. i don't know what it is but lower gain it breaks it's a nicer, later yeah but it's a it's a nicer lower gain in my opinion yeah um and i can't explain why i think it's because they have more headroom like i've always noticed with a 6l6 or l34 6l6 tends to break up faster yeah tends to be a bit more scooped and get get gainy faster yeah whereas el34 just kind of puffs its chest out and goes, nah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. Nah, bro. <laughs> Sup, bro. Uh, they come with a foot switch, uh, mm -hmm. which can change the channel and the voice. Okay. So, you know, if you are, let's say, on channel one there, mm -hmm. you turn channel one on and off. And then if you are on that channel, you can engage the boost on the other thing. So you've got two channels, um, couple of voices, oh. shared EQ. Yeah. You've got a built-in reverb, which apparently changes depending on the channel you're on to complement the yeah. sound of the, the mm -hmm. channel. Um, you've got a master, your standard standby power, and then just here in the, you can see is a little three-way toggle switch which changes the power output, right? Yeah, two watts and 50 watts. Yes. And I think it's the same on the... Yeah, yeah it's the same one here. Mm -hmm. And then the middle has got this kind of sag feature mm -hmm. which makes the sound a little bit more compressed and a bit more vintage okay. sounding. So we, we can go through that as well. I think yeah. we should just kind of try to hear the amps. I mean, I love the design of them. They, they look yeah. absolutely great. Um, so we've just featured the we've just talked about the features that make it an amp. There's loads of other stuff around <laughs> yes. the back which we'll talk about after we sort of hear them, I suppose. So 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 much. Yeah. So so much. Yeah, so Rabir, why don't you start with your one and then yes. I'll do some tones on this afterwards and then once we've done some tones from the from the cabs we'll go on to all the DSP power the and all their back and the and the um Simulators and all that stuff. The stuff. <laughs> Don't know what that was. I was so, trying to type something in. I play everything at 12 o'clock. Do it. Bar the volume. Uh, this is the clean channel. Tons of low end. Yeah, there's loads tons of, of low, low end. end. You can take the back plate off, so it can be an open back cab as well. Convertible, open Convertible. back cabs. Convertible, and not right now they're closed. So, uh, but, but that's amazing that it's <coughs> closed back. Yeah, I'm getting all that low end. Yeah. Can you just be, while you're there, because these are supposed to be the same uh, blackface voiced okay. front end. Mm -hmm. So can we just hear? Right here we go. So just try to plug that in and then see if. Um, because they should be the same, right? So I'm setting this the same as the other one. All the pedals are off yet. No, all the pedals. All right. Yeah. And this is just a test because it says that it's the same sort of voice, but that, that will then show that the, the, the tubes or the valves inside does make it sound different. You know? That, that's got a more, much more of a Fender yeah, character. Yeah, scooped out. Yeah, low top and low. That's fine. Good. That was all I wanted to know. Thank you very much. So, that's cool. Carry on. <laughs> and then finally, just the uh, bridge. Man. And then it sounds great, I think. And that's the reverb as well, yeah. So and you're you just do the reverb full up and just give it one little whack, sort of. Okay. It's see the decays quite quick, isn't it? It is so quite it, steep. I yeah. would it, personally I like when it sort of decays like that. It's, yeah, my fingers. Particularly because it sounds quite dense. <laughs> Drinking black coffee today, so my hands are going like that. Um, <laughs> right, so yeah, that's quite dense. Sounds great though. Yeah. Nice clean tone. So that's the clean, With that very affordable. clean. Yeah. And now we'll move across to channel two. 
before it's you do got that, two voices. Sorry, before you do that, could yeah. you do the power down to two? Oh yes. Okay. Just so. see what it's like. So that's at fifty. This is down at two. Okay, so that's that could be bedroom and time. Then sag. Keep playing. It's a slight difference. It's, I mean, the, you can hear that it does something to the. It's, it almost like brings everything down a little mm. bit more compressed. Yeah. Even like I'm holding a set of balls there. <laughs> I don't know. Or some apples. <laughs> yeah. It could be apples or balls. It could be. I mean, I'm saying balls. I mean, like um, hand, hand balls or. It could balls. equally be a gesture of the compression it, inherent in this particular like, like, amp. Yeah, that could be as well. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yes, yeah, so, sorry, carry on, man. I'm just. Well, that's cool. Like, because this is the first time we plug into these, right? So it's not like we've been sitting with these. No. I had them they're literally out of the box. And the sag, I think you'll probably notice it more on gain sag. But the the two watt fifty watt, it's nice to have such a drastic difference in output. Yeah. Uh, for a fifty watt valve head, right? Yeah. Anyway. So. Here oh, we sorry, go. So you're channel two now. Yeah, and I'm going to use the first voice. This Do is it. the gain at halfway. So that's, I think that sounds great, man. It's quite a modern sounding game, quite tight. In fact, shall I plug a humbucker in? Yeah, here you go. Have that. Right. Humbucker. So now I've got a humbucker. So Woo! We can gun the gain a bit. And that then, sounds wicked, man. That sounds great. It's definitely more classic. It's modern feeling because it's tight, but it's it sounds classic. Yeah, it's got that American uh, boogie yeah. sort of mar not martially, is it? It's more like boogie. It's, it's a little bit of um, it's EVH more, kind of. Um, it's edgy. Edgy. It's it doesn't not, have the fist, does it? No. But then if you go across the second voice, I'm going to guess. <laughs> There's it scoops coming. out yeah, yeah. and gives you the, the smiley face EQ curve with yeah, loads the more low in Yeah. Snow was all about. So, and you have you've got some stuff in the effects loop as well. So it's got effects loop as well with yeah. a little. And on the effects loop, you've got a um, 10 dB sort of. You can yeah, oh, plus like, four. Yeah, plus yeah. four. Yeah. Uh, the caps are 16 ohm outs, 16 ohm outs, and two other the three outputs in it. I mean, that sounds great. That was with everything at 12. The EQ as well. So like at a 12 o'clock EQ setting, that's a decent tuned sounding amp. You know, the, the gain is is modern feeling. Like yeah. you can chug on that. You can shred on that. Don't chug on it. No. No. Yeah, you can chug on it all day long if you like. You know what? I think this this thing about keep going, if it, you know, you we keep saying that in these videos. I do anyway. It's to to the point where it's getting annoying. And I said, <laughs> if it sounds great when you pluck something in and you set everything at twelve o'clock, I agree. And you go boom, and you go, yes, that's great. Because then, you know, and yeah. I think people are now realizing that's really important because I think when when people go into the shop, they'll go me, 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 me. It's so one of the things I look for. Yeah. Because, you know, not Because then you got give and take, sorry. Yeah, I was just going to say, like, one of the things I experienced whenever I worked with Martin and Victory and stuff is, yeah. is that, that, like, everything at 12 sounds great. Yeah. And I look now, I've learned that from him, and now I look for that in other amps. Yeah. So, yeah. So that, there we are. Yeah. Um, anyway, let's go to this one here. Do you want to have your Les Paul? No, I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll start with this, because then it's kind of the same. So right. we'll do everything at 12 o'clock again. We are on channel, blah, blah, blah. Mm. Middle best train, travel, middle 
bass, and that's on 50 watt master. How do you, did you, okay. Reverb is different. Yeah, it is, that's more springy. It's more. Maybe they went for something more vintage in that one. Maybe. It's funny, this guitar, take this out, so this is a thin line, and then I forget that. You see how much more low end there is in the thin line. It's incredible. Yeah, that's pokey more. Much pokey. Pokey more. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that sounds great from exactly where we are here. So, one thing I'm gonna try. I was gonna is ask you to do that. Yeah. Oh, it's loud, man. Yeah. It's loud. See, now I'm gonna. I think that sounds great. I mean, it's loud. That is loud here. It is, but it sounds great. How much space it's really loud. As much as you need. Yeah. It's because we've got lights in here, see? Depending on where I turn. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I think it sounds great. So let's try... So the overdrive in this amp is meant to be more vintage voice, right? It's, yeah, so on channel two, um, it's supposed... Let's just go down to two watts. And then Sagaloo. It's very tight, isn't it? Very... It feels like quite. That. It feels quite fast, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, very. But that's now I'm in the sack mode. So that's. Let's go up to the. See, it's not as fast, is it? There's no pedals on, by the way, so all the way up here. It's almost like the, the sound carries on a little bit longer. Mm. We're in the middle there. Weird though, because you, sag technically means compression in amps, right? Yeah, so, so it, it should last it's... longer though. Well, depending on how it compresses yeah, yeah. it. You know, the, the... But, yeah. I mean, it sounds great, I must mm. admit, I think it sounds really, really good. Um, and everything at 12 o'clock is my preferred tone, which is not fun, but it's great. <laughs> uh, channel 2, uh, everything at 12 still. Oh, that sounds good.
just excuse me, I've cut myself on a razor blade. Four little, it looks like a... Oh, it's savage. It looks like a, what is it called, on a fish? Wilkinson got the better it looks of the, the those gills. gills. It looks like I've got gills on my finger here. Ooh, sorry. He met his match if with Gillette. See, is it? Yeah. <laughs> And then you look at my beard and go, but you're not safe, Pete. Why is that then? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, you it know what? I good, think, but it's I, I dare, dare say it, I think this is the best sounding Black Star I am, I've heard so far. Yeah, I much prefer this one, the way yeah, this I, sounds. Yeah, I mean, that's, For me, uh, that's a bold statement, but yeah. Yeah, I think that... <laughs> Sounds great. Yeah, see, I've got the foot switch on here, isn't it, guy? So I go like that. So that's like a top boost. How does it take pedals, you ask? I so heard loud. You. I heard you. So this is just the, that's the clean, this is the Dane. Just a mild kind of crunchy thing. Here's a field marshal fuzz. I, 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 can I, can I, um, you can less pull it, less pull it, please, just really quick, Lay like Paolo, I mean, we haven't got to the only output stuff and the XLR and headphones and all the stuff in the back that people, you know, w buy one of these at home for, you know, USB plug it straight in, comes up in Logic or your door or whatever, and then just, oh, oh, Did you see the new uh, Love and Thunder of uh, Thor trailer? I haven't seen it, no. It's just a sweet child of mine. It's the uh, it? team theme song, yeah. I think they sound great. I feel like, I feel like th this one tonally can be more versatile in a yeah. way. Like this one's, I feel like this is the modern one, you know, so you've got a really nice chimey clean and then you've got all the gain for the chugs, right? So yeah. it makes perfect sense because in mm -hmm. modern metal and stuff, it's either super spanky cleans and then crushing. Whereas what appeals to me about this one is that you know that if you threw some pedals in front of it, that you could get a bigger range of gain yeah. that it offers. Yeah. And but then you've got those in between tones that this one doesn't necessarily have. It's either clean or high gain. Yeah. But I, I suppose it depends what you want tonally. But we didn't hear you put pedals in front of it. I must admit, I I was skeptic in the beginning, even mm. in the beginning of this video, because I was like, I'm always a little bit skeptic when lots of stuff is 
put into an amp. Yeah, me too. And stuff is made to make lightweight, and we made the transformers lightweight, we made the power supply lightweight, and mm. it's lightweight this and lightweight that, and you got DI this and XLR that and USB this, and I'm like, oh, I've just, yeah. I can't. <laughs> yeah. And then go, oh, and it's the tube amp at the same yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, go, yeah, oh, yeah. my, hang on, there's something. Yeah. But actually, it feels great. I love that sack feature on it mm. um, and, it, and it and it sounds great and the cap sounds great even though it's a lightweight Celestian Zephyr mm. speaker and I'm not a, I'm not a keen um, what is it called the magnets on the uh, the neodymium magnets I don't know if that's exactly what it is it's just a it's just called a Celestian Zephyr oh, I see what you mean yeah the neodymiums are always just not there for me they in, sound a bit sterile yeah they yeah. do and then when you have combine it with all the other stuff I think this is great. I mean, whether it's worth the money, that's up to you out there to see what it is. You I know? mean, it's basically like, in terms of what it's similar to, like Rev G20, Rev D20, Hughes yeah. and Kettner Grandmeister, like, yeah. well, that has that's more effects ridden. But like, when you look at the Rev stuff, for example, they have reactive loads in there. They've got cab outs and stuff. Yeah. They're all tube. Yeah. Uh, they have switchable wattage. Like, so it's yeah. very much the same story. But, you know, I suppose with Blackstar, you've got that heritage um you know because well, they've been going quite a while now and you can buy the head on its own and just because you don't need to you don't need the cap. cap because it's got a yeah. reactive load in it so you can have this yeah. and hook it up at home to your speakers and still got that mm. that tube sound so i mean yeah but talking about all that stuff let's talk about all that stuff let's do that <laughs> once we'll be right back okay so we're back uh, in the room mm -hmm. uh, just to show you the back end of the amplifier here um so this is basically so many features so many features you got your um, USB output, good old fashioned uh, square plug that's the side of Stonehenge. Yeah, and, old school. Uh, yeah, old school. You got a foot switch. You got your effects loop with a plus four or minus 10 dBs. Mm -hmm. and then you've got your cab rig output here, mm -hmm. which can be balanced XLR mm -hmm. or a line out yep. or a, f a headphones. Mm -hmm. And you got pre three presets here that you can then store within Reassign. the software Blackstar Architect. It's no longer Insider. You don't have to get Insider, you have to get the Architect this time. That's true. Can you remember the... Um, I the certainly can remember uh, that. <laughs> that took us just all day to shoot that. So then you got your 116 ohm out or 28 ohm out. So, you know, 50 watt, blah, 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 fuse, which is... Uh, you can use this anywhere in the world. That's very cool. Yeah. So so, you, you don't need to worry about 110, 240, 230. You just Plug it in, baby. Bosh, bosh, bosh. Bish. Bish, bosh, bosh. Yeah. So what we've done now, this is exactly the same underneath, but underneath like this. So this is the little uh, 50 watt mm -hmm. combo. Um, again, with the light up. I like the little, I like this. But that's One just a 12. feature from the bad cat that's got that and lots of other yeah. matchless and stuff. 1 by 12. Zephyr. 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 And we plugged into the uh, cab rig. Mm -hmm. I've got the Blackstar Architect here. I don't know exactly how this works, so you're gonna be able to see this now. You can see that I'm plugged into a St. James 50 uh, EL34 amp here. And I've got my, so if I switch on this little switch down here, you'll see on the screen that it'll... Yeah, it'll, it's probably worth see. saying for all of those out there that are familiar with things like uh, the two notes wall of sound plug-in yeah. and the two notes out on the back of loads of amps these days it's yeah. their version of that they've yeah. made their own rather than go with someone like two exactly amps. and we've gone through it before me and Lee did a video on it and I mm. think we, if you want to watch something like that up here and if not like and subscribe and yeah. links below and all that different stuff they got one little cool feature is this little dice mm -hmm. so it just randomly generates oh, okay. uh, some cabinets so you can see it's got the two cabs here so it's got cab one and cab two mm -hmm. So, I don't know, it's not running in stereo, it can't be stereo because it's... No, it's just a way of blending two different speaker tones. Okay, so yeah. that makes sense, yeah. And you've got your room here that you can turn up and down. Mm -hmm. You can then choose your cab one and two. Mm -hmm. See, that's the cat I talked about, see? Oh, yeah. It's a DI, it's a little sleeping, sleeping cat here. So you've got 110 Classic all the way up to Ford and Modern UK Neo and Ceramics. And yeah. you've got loads of different cabinets you can, you can select. Kind of reminds me um, of the Ox um, operating. It's very easy. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. But With there's the two mics room and... But there's, it's not like, oh, let's go and spend lots of money on the design of it. No. it it's just simply... Yeah. Black and white with some red lines on it. Yeah. Easy to work out, you know. Yeah. You've got your 57 dynamics, you've got condenser, you've got ribbon, mm -hmm. you know, which we've got down here. Ribbon. Uh, ribbon. Ribbon. 
And then you've got your EQ. So mm. you've got you can bypass an EQ. You've got a low cut. You've got a high cut. You've mm. got some EQ presets. Cap in the room. Mix group everything. Is this pre or post? Like is this post cap? Um, I'm not quite sure where it is in the chain. It, it says cap mic. Uh, cap, mic, and then the EQ. Oh, EQ, so, yeah, it'll be yeah. post them, wouldn't it? And then you've got a room here where you can, uh, you know, you know, have a, whether, I think that's just, that's not reverb, that's just the room you're in. So it's yeah. very similar to, as you say, um, the UA stuff. The UA stuff. And then yeah. you've got a master as well, so okay. you can EQ the master. Uh, so you've got a lot of features here. I'm not really going to go into it too much, because I think that's like, what do you prefer? It's also quite um, a familiar thing. We, we're used to seeing this kind of stuff now in modern gear, aren't yeah, we? So absolutely. I mean, self-explanatory. Again, they sound great. I, you know, I wasn't expecting all the extra stuff. When you get all of this stuff, it always puts. If there's a USB plug on my amp. I go, like, oh, yeah, I'm I've like got, that. It's like a. It's almost like, hey, what? Yeah. 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 Um, but then again, hey, there's a plug-in on a car now. So what can I? What can you say? That's plug true. it into the electrics. Um, okay. Well, let, if you just play, and let's right. go through all the. If I go down here and I'll go to I, what I think is I can't really tell whether it's one two or three but I'll just I'll pull it that way which I would think is one I don't know one yeah. two or three it's, it's either one two or three so this is the what it comes with okay. so you've got um, cab one is a classic 4x12 UK cab two is a modern UK ceramic microphone on cab one is a 414 condenser mm -hmm. so an AKG and then a 412 and you've got some EQ there bit of low cut bit of high cut different on each as you can see the EQ is set slightly different I reckon take the EQ off for now let's just hear the speaker as it's meant to be heard you sure yeah. I mean, this, oh, okay I can take that off there yeah. I can take that off there so this is just the speaker just the IR and the mm -hmm. IR It sounds like, uh, I mean, we're hearing through these two Cali 8-inch uh, studio monitors. Mm. It sounds fine. What do you expect? You know, yeah. in a mix, it'll sound... You know, this like is guitar. The, it'll sound yeah. like a guitar, and that's the thing these days. Where we're going, oh, well, I've got this, I've got this, and I'm using this IRs, and there's 15 million IRs, you know. And you find your own, and then once you... If you are a session guy, and you record it, and you send it to someone, they don't care how it comes, if it comes out of this, or it comes out of Nox, or it comes out of a yeah. or whatever. As long as it sounds good, this sounds good. So, you know, let's try to put the EQ on mm -hmm. each here and then see what happens. I get mic one cap, so keep playing. Mic the other cap. Oh, you can hear so, there's quite a big difference yeah. there. You can, you can pan them as well. So you can pan one cap to one side. Yeah, try some gains, see what that does. Oh, sorry, I had bypassed. Oh, I can't work that out if I bypass. Oh, here you go, here you go, here you go. Okay, so it's white, then it's on. Okay, I'm, I'm still learning all this stuff, see? Um, so that's really simple. Let's go to number two here. There you go, that's the middle ones. That's pretty cool. So you've got a 112 cap mm -hmm. and then a 212 cap with an open back. You can oh, see okay. how that comes out. So the boom. Oh, hang on, sorry, uh, this is Austin's computer, so every time I click it, it changes. So you can see it's a classic UK combo, mm -hmm. 212 out. One thing I would like to say, when I click this here, and I get it up, so the, you see here, it's a classic 112 open back. Mm -hmm. If I then go back here, that stays behind. I see. And then the if I click list. it, it oh, okay, it's yeah. like one of those things where... Sli yeah. it's slightly it's just a user interface thing it's just I could probably it, update that uh, whatever it's fine uh, it's fine um so there you go and there you've got a microphone on which you've got a 67 condenser okay. and a ribbon on the other one sounds great that i like it. <laughs> 
Yeah, it sounds good. And here's these, I can solo the room, just the room mic. That's a bit fun, you can do that. Yep. Um, and then I can solo the 212. And the one. And you can see one is on the cone and one is sort of off axis on it. Mm. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let me see here what we've got here. So you can also get the bias here where there's hot or cold bias. This is just in the middle. You can see the version of the software. You can send, you can do settings and send your feedback in. Mm -hmm. And then you can here, they can see these are the, these are under, you know, so these are the ones it comes with in here. And you can save your own presets. You can save your own presets from here into yeah. there. So when you are out, get mm -hmm. the combo in, give that to the sound guy, <laughs> you know, happy, he's happy. Um, and right now we are just, t this is just one standby. Mm. So you're not hearing the front here. Silent recording mode. Silent recording mode. Mm. It's brilliant. Let me just try to pick. Um, let me try to pick an open back USA here and a, <clears throat> oh, hang on, let's go on here, let's do a, this one, and let me pick a vintage El Nico. Okay. You can choose on axis or off axis as well, which is pretty cool. I tend to like the 4x12 caps yeah. in all of these m most of the Gives time. Gives you the most low end, doesn't it? it? Just, yeah, it's just because you're listening to these little small little vintage stack two, two, like that. Try that. It's really difficult, man. You know, this is this is fiddling around territory when you sit down and you make your you presets and your patches, you get lost. and then yeah, exactly. Let's just hear what it sounds like with its own gain in it. Yeah. Uh, so you take that off, and yeah. then just need to hit the boost on one. Here. <laughs> Let me pop back to that one. Sounds great. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, is there? I mean, what else would you expect? It sounds great. It's fine. It's easy to use. I have a question. Go on. Can you load your own IRs? I don't that? think so. I, I, if you know, might get me wrong, but please take the links below for that. I don't think you can load your own IRs into this. I think they're trying to make it as simple as the Ox uh, box. So you got what you got. I have you another question. Getting, yeah. Can you turn off the cab miking in that software? So that what you hear out of the amp is just yeah you can do di out. you can you can you can if I go to here for instance yep. that's the little cat there so I got di oh so you could just use a third party cab loader if you wanted yeah. to do that yeah so you got a little sleeping cat okay. and then you know that will sound like this that's not too bad actually but it's you know you you want to put your cabs on there yeah um, okay fair enough on. so but let me see. And you can save your patches locally. You know, there's a community here, so you can you can uh, get yourself. I think there's like a cloud and stuff like that. Nice. Um, I love the little random generator that just yeah. generates stuff for you. You can see what you plugged in. You can see yeah. all the features. And I'm sure there'll be some updates to all that software. So you come along, you just plug it in with the USB, and you know. But I'm I'm color me impressed. I like them. It also has a <coughs> fan in it. Yeah. Too. That's my biggest fan. In case it gets too hot. Yeah. Which just comes on and off. 
Yeah. High tension. Uh, and you were, you were talking about earlier the input states of it, so... Yeah, I was curious because there's a lot of gain in this one, but there's only two preamp tubes. And so I was thinking, how are they getting that much gain out of it? Yeah. Does it have a solid state front end that then drives the preamp section? Yeah, so it's an op amp buffer that is in the, in the front end of the amps. Right. So you can... I mean, op amp, that's like the little um, 24... Una, the 24 oh, pedal, you know, 29 pedals. 29 pedals, not 24. The wham. Yeah, yeah wham. And it's, it's essentially the same as a drive or something like that. That's just, but it's a very sort of, it's a, it's a dedicated thing that can, that can drive the. So it drives the, the preamp stage. Yeah. Okay. That's the thing, it sounds great, man. Yeah. I think they sound yeah, yeah, great. Yeah. They look wicked. Super light, look at that. Yeah, the, the weight is pretty impressive. Yeah, it is pretty impressive and they look cool. I love the, the logo that's lit up and everything. But I think we just need to jam out. I think we should jam out on these little ones. Um, just so you can hear what it sounds like in the front there. And then, and then, thank you. Is that it? I think that oh, might yeah, be it. it. Yeah, like and subscribe. Watch some more videos up there and buy some <laughs> stuff and some merch and some things. And uh, have fun. Love each other. Always have fun. Yeah, be nice. Always love each other. Yeah.